Hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize uh, perspective in CSS and the, the transform property to, to generate something uh, like a calendar uh, flipping cards. So a while ago I was, I was looking at some of these cool stuff in the material design and then I found this very cool kind of animation for their calendar product icon and uh, I kind of challenged myself today to to kind of resemble the look and feel of this calendar flipping cards so this is not yet finished this is kind of like a teaser if you like to see the final product please uh, subscribe to my channel or uh, you know share or like this video so that you get notified when I finish this but just to give you a clue of how I'm proceeding to to create this basically I have a parent uh, container which I called it card holder and then within that I have defined two divs uh, initially uh, the first one which I added a class top I made it top one which represents actually number one uh, and then another one down here uh, I added which I called it bottom right so basically this is one card which I added a class top and this one is another card that I added a class bottom right and then as you can see in my top uh, I in, inside it I added a new one new division which I called it card and within that card I put my number right and why I did that is because you know in order to create this feeling of you know part or, or the top half of the tree to be on top and the bottom half of the tree or any number to be on the bottom what I did is that I put the number in the card and then I adjust the position of the card both for the top and the bottom so for example for the top I move it 50% down and for the bottom I, I move it 50% up right so that it kind of matches the feel and look of tree on two different cards right so to just show you the CSS that I use as you know for the 3d perspective you have to as I told it in my previous tutorial you have to basically have a parent container and give the property of perspective to your parent container so that you so that the elements within that container look 3d right so I'm gonna switch back to this view I'm gonna hide the JavaScript so that you see what I mean so on the card holder I added a perspective 300 pixel and I uh, put per, uh, perspective origin 50% 15% I mean you don't need to really put it because by default it is like that but I just you know just wanted to try some of the other uh, values to see how it looks so I ended up being the same 50% and 50% both vertically and horizontally and then I gave it the width of 130% which is the width of this and then the height of 160% which is the combination of the height of the top card plus the bottom card which both of them have you know the the height of 80 pixel and then I positioned it to absolute left 50% top 50% and transform translate minus 50 minus 50% so basically if you want to center any element inside uh, you know the parent element what you want to do is use these these four uh, properties right you put it as, as an absolute position left on top 50% and then you use transform translate which moves the object whatever its height or width is to minus 50% or minus the half of it which kind of centers the element in this parent right all right and then for the card element as you can see within the top the card element itself uh, put us some you know some some normal CSS like font and, and stuff that you can see here and the most important thing was basically the fact that uh, I, I text aligned it to center so that it kind of gets centered right and then the height of 100 160 percent it's very important even though the parent card which is top is 80 percent 80 pixel you know the the, the uh, div within that which is the card should have 160 pixel to match the card you know 
on the top part to, to a little bit down 50% and the, the other one on top so that it looks like this, right? And then obviously uh, for the for positioning on the top card, I, I kind of centered that. So as you know, on the card, which has the height of 160%, in order to center that again, I use the same property. So as you can see, if you imagine the whole card is like this, the tree is kind of centered. But since on the parent, on the top, I put overflow hidden, it kind of hides the rest, right? Which is gonna be shown on the other card. And then on the bottom card though, I use the same thing. The left is going to be 50%, and then though in the transform property, I just lift it up a little bit so that the bottom bottom of the tree will just uh, go a little bit on top, so that you have this kind of feeling, right? Uh, and then basically, this is the cool part that uh, you know. If I refresh the page for you to see, you'll see that it kind of has this very nice animation flipping animation. The way I do it is pretty simple. So I'm, I'm going back to the, to the view that I was. Uh, you can see that on the top. Uh, what I did was basically I positioned it to absolute so that on my parent container, which is the card holder, uh, I kind of put the first one on top and then the bottom one, as you can see here, I just define a top of 80%. Since I know the height of this is 80%, so I move the second one, which is the bottom card, or all the all the elements with class bottom to have the top of 80% so that they kind of get fixed over here, right? And then, as you can see on the top, I define the overflow hidden. That's what I'm talking about. And then a bit of a box shadow and stuff, and this is the important part, right? So by default, I set the transform to rotate 30 30 degree. So what it means is that by default I want the uh, I want my element to be 30 degrees from this axis. You can see that I kind of defined it over here. The transform origin for the top is 50% and 100%. So 50% meaning that 50% uh, horizontally and 100% means that I want the origin, uh, the pivot point of the rotation to be at the bottom, right? So if this is my car, right, the transform origin will be right over here. So horizontally on the center and vertically on the bottom, right? And for the bottom card though, I want the transform origin to be again on the center horizontally, but I want it to be on top. So I define 50% horizontally on x axis and zero, right, on the on the top. So just a note: when you use zero uh, for whatever property you want to set, you don't really need to put the unit. So for example, if it's pixel or you know it's percent, you don't really need to put anything. That's actually better when you're doing the CSS. It's more performant in order to you know achieve what you want. So. Going back to our top, so the in the initial rotation is 30 pixel. So basically, if we imagine, let's let's just play a, play a little play a little bit by this. So if I put zero here, if I put zero, uh, or let's let's do this. Let's just remove all the animations for for the starter. I'm just gonna remove all the animations here for now. So you can see when I when you define it zero. Uh, zero degree transform, it looks exactly where it is, right? If I use 30 pixel, you see it goes 30, 30, so, sorry, 30 degree, it, it goes 30 degree clockwise. So if we imagine this is where the rotation happens, this card has 30. And if I use minus 30%, you see it comes anti clockwise, which is basically coming back, which is towards us, right? So initially, I want it to be 30% uh, 30 degree and then when I use open I want this to come minus 150 degrees so from 30 degrees clockwise it kind of rotates and then comes down right so if I just enable the JavaScript again you will see how it looks like 
And then I use the same principle to kind of animate the other elements. So I, I have top one, top two, top three, and I just play around, play with the transition delay and you know the transform to kind of achieve this kind of feel. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's kind of like a very short tutorial. I'm gonna have a more thorough advanced tutorial when the uh, finished product is ready. And I'm not gonna use HTML and CSS here because you know if I wanna add 31 cards for the top and bottom, you're gonna you, you're gonna see a lot of HTML over here. Though there are some other uh, sort of pro processes uh, or preprocessors for HTML. For example, Jade, which you can use functions and then loop and generate them, right? And for the CSS, I'm going to use uh, something called uh, SCSS, uh, which gives me some functions so that I can write less code, and it kind of generates the whole CSS file or CSS content for me. So stay tuned. If you like this tutorial, please share and like. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Have a good day and night, and see you soon. Goodbye.